Okay, so this is going to be a very, very dangerous video to make and lots of people are going to hate me after this. But uh, hey guys, this is Finn here. That is of course F Y double N. And yeah, season's almost over. Premier League season's almost over. And it's time for everyone to say their team of the season. And yeah, it's a very debatable topic. Who deserves to be in the team of the season? And lots of your favorite players aren't going to be in this team. And I can't name all the honorable mentions because it will take too long. So I'm going to name the team and all of the subs. So yeah, this is based off of what I've seen on the internet, what other people say, mixed with lots of my opinion, okay? So quickly, let's get into this. First of all, goalkeeper has to be Alisson from Liverpool. 17 clean sheets in 33 games has seriously just been strong between the posts. And I don't think any other goalkeeper really pushes ahead for goalkeeper of the season, okay? Now let me just tell you all the ratings in this thing is just purely just my thought, my opinion of what I think the ratings are going to be like. So yeah, just my opinion, okay? Okay, so the two centre backs, the first one I've got is of course Virgil van Dijk. Lots of people say he might be player of the season. I think that's definitely an option. I think that definitely could happen. Three goals a season, one assist in 33 appearances. And he's played every single game for Liverpool so far this season. And he really is probably one of the best defenders in the world at the moment, okay? Now, the other sense back has to be Laporte from, obviously, the French defender from City. Uh, he's had 29 appearances and he has a clean sheet in about one in every two games. So, a, a clean sheet every two games isn't a bad statistic at all. And I struggle to find really good centre backs this season. And, okay, my left back has to be Robertson from Liverpool as well. Now, there's going to be lots of Liverpool players in this team. I am a United fan, so it's hard for me to say that. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. But because of the season they've had, it's hard for me not to look at these players. And Robertson, the Scottish international player, nine assists this season, really good defensively and attacking wise for Liverpool. Same reason why on the right back side, I've had to put Trent Alexander Arnold. He's just seriously grown as a player since last season. Seven assists, one goal. And yeah, I have to say, there's no Walker in my bench or in the starting lineup. I know lots of people are huge fans of Kyle Walker and say he might be the best right back in the world. But this season, he has been totally quiet, or at least in the Premier League, he has been. So for that, I have to put Trent Alexander Arnold in there. And I did do a poll on Facebook asking people who they thought the right back would be. So, of course, um, Trent had to start there, and my second choice was Juan Bissaka, who I'll get to in a second. Okay, my three midfielders, I've had to go for Pogba. I know this is a very debatable one, but also, once again, I did a poll on the internet, and lots of people voted for him. I mean, he hasn't had a bad season at all since Solskjaer's been here. Under Mourinho, he was totally quiet, but since Solskjaer's been here, he's really turned into a great player. 11 goals, 9 assists this season, and I have to put him in there. Okay, Eriksen, another midfielder, he's got an 11 assist, one of the top assist makers this season. Only 6 goals, so not the best, but uh, once again, midfield was very hard this season, and I'm going to have to say Kevin De Bruyne did not make this list because he has only had 2 goals this season and nothing else really, but that's because of injury. Okay, now my last midfielder has been Angola Kante, although he didn't have the best season so far. It is his highest uh, scoring season and assist making season so far this season. Four assists, I believe, and three goals this season. Okay, he's doing very well this season, although under Surrey he is struggling a bit. But I had to put him in there uh, over Bernardo Silva, who I would have originally put in there. Now my three uh, forwards, it's very debatable because, wow, were the forwards amazing this season. But of course I'm going to name lots of them in the bench if they aren't yet. Okay, now on the right wing, I have to put Mohamed Salah, who I wouldn't say is nearly as great as he was last season, but still a phenomenal season. 18 goals this season, quite a few assists as well. And as I said, overall, really a top factor in why Liverpool could win the league so far this season. Now, all of this, remember, just at the time of recording, these are their stats, okay? Now, my left wing, I have to put in Eden Hazard. I was debating one or two players for this position. But 16 goals so far this season and 12 assists, that's a very good stat. And he really is pushing for uh, Chelsea there and they need more players like him. I'm going to be surprised if he's at Chelsea at the end of the season. I think he definitely will move to Real Madrid because he deserves to be in a Champions League spot, depending on what happens at the end of the season, obviously. Now, my striker has to be Aguero. I think he's seriously underrated. 19 goals so far this season, quite a few assists. And he has now scored more goals for Man City than Thierry Henry did for Arsenal. And I think that just shows the kind of strike he is. And he is one of the world's best. 
Okay, now quickly I have to go for my reserves. It's going to be a quick list. I've got Shaw, I've got Mane, I've got Sterling definitely has to make it. I almost put him in there. Kane I would have put in there, but obviously injury, uh, he's had struggled with injuries and the Aguero has been a better striker this season. Aubameyang was a very close call. I really wanted to put him in there, but Aguero has just had a better season. Lindelof has seriously improved. He could have gone in there, as I said. Bernardo Silva, Son, Basaka, Edison, second most assists this season, and possibly Rashford, I don't know. And I have to say Jamie Vardy, because he is having a really good season at Leicester. Now guys, those are all of my players in the Premier League Team of the Season prediction. Tell me what you think down below. I'm so close to hitting 100 subscribers. If we could please do that by June, I would really appreciate that and love that so much. Pushing out videos hard and yeah, as I said, very dangerous video to make because it's all opinionated. And tell me what you think down below. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of that. Finn Krause Football. Uh, make sure you follow. Otherwise guys, this has been Finn. F-Y-N-N. -N. Cheers.